Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in the starter content into your game. So the starter content has some great features such as free props, animations, particle effects, sound effects, all of that. So it's definitely worth having in just in case you want something like that. So if you started your game without importing the starter content, it's very easy to get. You just go down to the content browser down here, click the green button, the add new in the top left, go to add feature or content pack, and then go to content packs, and just the starter content. Obviously, if you're doing a mobile game, you get mobile starter content, but for most people, just be starter content, and then hit add to project. And it's that simple. Once it's imported, you can just have a look through it. So it would just be in content, and then starter content, and then you have all of this amazing stuff. So free static meshes, some blueprints such as lights, some sound effects, some other props like this, like a door, more lights, tables, rocks, bushes, all of this kind of stuff. And it's really worth having because it's great. There's even some free textures as well. And as well as the start content, you can also add in other stuff, like blueprint features. So if you want stuff from the first person, but you're in the third person, you just hit first person and add a project. Or if you're doing more C++ coding, you can go into this part and again add in stuff from the first person if you're doing third person or other way around, or anything else. So if you're making a game and you want to add in the car, you can just add in the vehicle or the vehicle advanced and then you will get the stuff that is in that blueprint. So if I just put in the vehicle, add to project, and again it's that simple, so you just close this and then you have all the stuff that you would have if you started the game with the vehicle blueprint. So you've got the blueprints for the car, so there you go, there's the sedan. Simple enough, and this just means that you don't have to recreate it, you can just simply add it in from what they've already made for you. And here's the maps, so the example map for the car. So here you are, so you can just hit play, you can drive around. It's that simple. And there we are, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one.